is in all her glory. Just picked it up today at the auction. Um, she's got some rust on her. She's not perfect, but she is all there and pretty much 100% original in stock. Um, this car has 120,000 miles on it. I'll open it up here in a second. And it is a one owner car. Uh, we did an auto check on it. One owner car, 120,000 miles. Um, I can't believe I found this. Uh, it was donated to the auction site for, I'm pretty sure, the Kidney Foundation. Uh, I'm sure you can see that. There's the mileage, 120,271 miles. All the turbo goodies, boost gauge, oil pressure gauge, volts. Sweet. She's got the all weather mats in her. I don't know if you can see that. There's the all weather mats. Only thing broken in here is this door pocket. That's easy to get. Uh, my door pocket on my 244 is broken as well. So that's not a shocker. Power windows. Actually, back up. You can see the seats are a little, a little tired. But they're not torn, so that might just need to be re-dyed. No, these seats are good. They just need to be re-dyed. I thought they had some tears in them. They do not. I got one tear there. But you know what? I can live with that for now. Oh, there's another tear there. Didn't see that. <laughs> but the driver's seat looks good. Uh, that just needs to be re-dyed. So I'm super happy with that. Uh, this boot seen better days. The boot on my 244 is in really good shape, so I'll probably just recondition that and use that. And I'll take the shift knob off that as well, because that car is not as cool as this car sorry guys but the wet turbo wagons are way cooler back seats mint mint the older the older uh, wagons did not have headrests did not know that she's got the roof rack there's my other wagon um uh, antenna's a little sticky but it works slides out so the back seats door cards mint Floors mint, everything mint on the inside. Uh, I mean, the paint ain't the greatest, but it's not horrible. It's about the equivalent to my wagon, so it'll get painted eventually. It's got the factory Virgo wheels. Um, does have some rust. A little bit down here, nothing crazy. A little bit here. This will all get taken care of. She's got a little bit right there, nothing crazy. Here's a bad spot. Uh, they make patch panels for these, so that'll be easy to take care of. I can just weld in a new patch panel. It's a little rust back here. A little bit up top. I should be able to just grind that down. And uh, I don't know what they did. Some interesting fix. I don't know what that is. Um, everything works on it. Windshield wipers, lights. It has brand new tail lights on it. Brand new tail lights. I have brand new taillights on my wagon that are not even as good looking as these. Um, interesting repair job here. On the auction site, it looked like tape. It's actually paint. That's a paint line. So it looks like they uh, backed into something, busted the light, and then uh, just kind of gooped it up and painted over it. I don't think there's any Bondo in there, so I should be able to go in the inside with a, dot, with a, uh, a body hammer and a dolly and hopefully just... Uh, massage this back into shape and uh, have it ready for paint. I gotta get all this silicone out. That's gonna be fun. Um, turbo goodness. Do more of a walk around on it. That's it for, well, that's not it for the rust. There was a, a patch job done here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Kind of hard to see. There it is. Some kind of interesting patch job there. And this is the worst of the rust here, guys, that I found. This whole rocker. Uh, I don't mind the shadow for my mic. So I can get you a better angle here. There we go. See that rocker? It's rotted up. Pretty much the whole thing's rotted. Good news is they sell these. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, there are a couple little rust spots. There are a couple rust spots on the floor, but nothing that I can't handle. Just pull the, uh, I just got to pull the interior out, the seats and the carpet, and I should be able to just go through and, and patch up the spots, cut there. out the bad metal. Little damage to this mirror. 
nothing that can't be fixed. This mirror is good. It's solid. The other mirror over here, she's, well, it was floppy. It's locked in now. It was floppy earlier. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that, but earlier this mirror was flopping around. I guess it popped back into place and locked in. Uh, let's pop the hood, guys. Ah. Uh. The hinges were a little bound up on this, so it had a little bit of a bow right here. And on the other side, I lubricated the hinges and the bow's pretty much gone. I still gotta massage it some more, but it's not too bad. There it is, this is the, uh, the B21 FT. Um, I'm not sure on the exact horsepower. I think it's like in the 150 to 160 range for horsepower, maybe a little bit more. Um, it runs really well, actually. Uh, it was low on oil. Doesn't have any leaks, really. Just like valve cover gasket and like oil cap gasket. Just gaskets here and there. Nothing crazy. It's not pouring fl fluids out. The rack doesn't leak, which I'm super shocked by. Actually, here, you gotta check it with me, guys. I haven't checked this yet. can't see but it's got fluid in it so I'm super happy about that that doesn't leak holds coolant holds oil strap mounts have seen better days those will get replaced I have a set at home so I'm not worried about that that strap mount looks good but uh, oh no it doesn't it's it's torn so that strap mount you can't see it in the light but I'm trying to yeah it's torn pretty bad actually it was a big tear so I have strap mounts at the house for it um, everything works super shocked Let's start it up. Start her up, guys. All right, ready? Watch how quick this car starts. As soon as you hit the key, she just fires right to life. If you can see that oil pressure's good. Voltmeter is reading off the charts. I don't know what's up with that. It might just need to. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, boost gauge work. I uh, assume the clock works. I don't know if the time's right on it, but. Oh, uh, no, the clock doesn't work. Clock is broken. It's missing and. The... So, if anybody's got a clock, that'd be cool. I might take the clock off my 244. So, you know what? Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> lights work. Everything works. Like, windshield wiper in the back. Here, I'll look in the mirror. Or I'll just go like this. Windshield wiper works. Front windshield wipers work. Headlights work. Everything works. Rear fog lights work. Running lights work. Everything works on this car, guys. I'm, I'm amazed. The brakes feel good. Everything feels good on it. Um, so. It even has the, the hood pad. My wagon doesn't have the hood pad. It has the hood pad. Headlights work. Everything works. We've already gone through all the already gone through all the systems on the car. Everything works. The air conditioning works. The heat works. Hold her up. But if you look, see how she's got a little bit of a bow? That's from those hinges being bent. From people opening and closing this hood with the bent hinges. I should be able to get this to lay back down, so I'm not too worried. Um, yeah, let's look in the back. You'd be shocked at how clean the back is too. Good hood, good struts in it. Thing fires right, flies right up. Uh, the wires will probably have to be done soon. I've had to do these on my car twice. I ended up just bypassing going through those hinges and just going through the headliner. I'll show you in that uh, later. But yeah, this is the back, guys. It's super clean. Like I'm just blown away how clean this car is. Look at this thing. It makes my car look like a piece of junk on the inside. Um, exhaust is clean. The only thing on the only work I, I could see that was done to this car, minus that monstrosity, is uh, I think the catalytic converter went out on it and they cut it out. And there's just a straight pipe under it right now. I'll show you. So if you look here, I don't know if you can see that. Should be a catalytic converter about right there somewhere and it's just a pipe and I can tell they cut it out because there's a weld there and there's a weld up there so but I look underneath man it is dry under here there's no leaks um I'm pretty sure this has the 
limited slip differential. I'll have to do some more research. You Volvo heads, let me know. Is that a limited slip or not? I can't tell from right here. I'll have to uh, get it up on the lift here in the next few days or so and really get a look at it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a limited slip or not. So if any of you guys know, just let me know in the comments. Thank you. Ugh. So that's a walk around the car, guys. I think that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, there'll be more coming soon on this. Let me know if you want to see this in the garage first or the 244. I think I'm just going to get the 244 in there and get it, uh, get the floor pans fixed and get it uh, running and driving and just sell the car. Uh, I got too many projects. I know projects are good to have for a YouTube car channel, but I can't keep up with them all right now. I got to thin the herd just a little bit. So thanks for watching guys. We'll uh, see you next time.